Mm. So beautiful to see all your faces as much as you can. Come on screen for me. I work intuitively and I just find it helps to see your magnificent faces. I don't care if you're in your Jimmy Jams. Hey, Kat. Wow, look how many angels we have from all over the world. Mm, hello, Sweden, Norway, New Zealand. Oh, Scotland. Mm. Norway, Wiltshire, Sydney, Bristol, Ellie Beach, Australia. Hello, Frio. Hello, Rose from Frio. I'm generally in East Frio. I'm here in Denmark, the Great South, right now on our land. Currently in Scotland in my PJs. Mm -mm, what a snuggly place to be. Hampshire, Wales. Hello, Nicole, my love. Wales. Wow, angels, we're from all over the world here. Goodness me. So right now, I am, can you still see out there the silhouette of these magnificent wisdom keepers? We have a hundred magnificent acres of sacred land here in the great southwest of Australia. So Western Australia is huge. It's like a country in and of itself. <laughs> the last couple of years have definitely shown us this. And this is where we come to really reconnect and to come back into alignment. And boy, oh boy, have I been grateful to be here. <laughs> Especially these last couple of weeks as I've been healing. Uh, our family ended up with COVID and, you know, I just felt so blessed that we had this peaceful sanctuary for us all to be in. You know what I mean? Just the peace and the quiet and the gentleness of family and Mama Gaia's arms around us. It's been really beautiful. It's also really shone this gift into my heart of stillness. I love stillness. I'm that kind of person. I'm naturally quite a hermit and uh, an introvert. I remember when I was younger thinking I just wanted to be like one of those hermits living in a cave somewhere. I don't think I would have managed. I mean, I can barely build a fire now. I tease my husband and say, you've ruined me. I don't know how to do anything, but I love it. <laughs> I so love being looked after by the sacred masculine and that gorgeous king energy that my husband bears. So I've really, with this gift of COVID, allowed myself to go into a bubble, a self-love bubble. And it's been interesting, sisters. It's been really interesting because I felt this rawness open up in me. Uh, for those that know me, you know, know I love Mama Gaia and her song and her sense. And I work closely with, you know, herbal concoctions that I make and essential oils. And I'm barely smelling anything. Like I literally have to go like right up my nose. <laughs> and have the diffuser right next to me and my aromatic dressings are all stronger. And, and even that, you know, cause my taste is affected. Even that has been a journey because I'm just listening and feeling into the spaces between and finding myself coming into a new alignment in that stage, in that place. So when I first felt these masterclasses coming in and the codes that started wanting to kind of weave their way into being. Um, I just let my heart open so that all of us gathering here would receive that transmission. I knew a couple of things. One was my heart was going to be open and that I would open the Akashic records so we could all swim in this blissful place. And that I was opening the circle in love, which I will do in a moment. And that's all I knew. And I just trusted because it landed, you know, these three masterclasses landed with a line being at the, at the forefront wanting to come in first. And I've been feeling how out of alignment we've been in the past. And in the past, what I once did to get myself back into alignment was almost like to break away and run away from wherever I was. Does that make sense? So if I was in a situation, say a noisy mall, um, shops, 
um, airports. You know, we used to, we were traveling a lot um, prior to these last couple of years. I would just kind of run away and get myself in, you know, this encapsulated, as silent as possible space to come back into alignment and to just get my feet into Mama Earth and to feel her wrap around me. And now I have allowed myself to just be richly blessed by my own capacity to come into alignment no matter where I am. Because I took myself right, right, right into the silence, deep, deep, deep into the stillness. And I just found myself in this womb-like space, this amniotic sac of the Great Mother. And within that space, oh, I started hearing her music in a new way. It's like, you know, when Spotify recommends certain playlists to you, do any of you subscribe to Spotify and they send you this playlist, okay, Jackie's nodding and, and it's perfect. Like I marvel at it. I'm just like, wow, this is such a great playlist. Well, what I was experiencing coming into this new alignment was hearing Mama Guy's song. I always have since I was a little girl, right? But hearing these new melodies coming in, feeling these new nuances coursing through me. And what it's done is, is it's completely altered my relationship with myself, with the incredible guides that are in my life, and with my capacity to return to my natural state of joy, of wholeness, you know, in the healed state. Physically, I'm not fully healed, you could say. You know, like my physical body's still catching up. I'm still coughing sometimes. It's still a bit snuffly. Um, I don't have my energy levels fully there yet, right? So physically, we could say I'm not fully there yet. And yet, there's this other part of me that is more refined in her rawness, in her realness, in her vulnerable, soft estates. Can any of you relate to any of this in your own way, on your own path? There's a few nods, yeah. Yeah, and so what I've noticed also is, is my, the changes that have happened in my one-on-one -on -one vessel, the way shower, mentoring in that one-on-one -on -one space, it's, it's altered. And it's about the, the richness of life, being blessed on all levels. Because what I felt with this energy of alignment was this invitation for all of us to come into alignment in the whole picture, which means wealth creation, wealth of thoughts, um, innovative ideas, creation energy, wealth of money, blessing us and blessing our families and blessing the multitudes a wealth of our own desire <coughs> to heal to return to our natural state as creator and our souls intended for this lifetime a wealth of stillness of silence a wealth of digging deep of mining the gems from deep 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 within us yeah and as i felt this unravel in me and felt it crystallize in my relationships with my one-on-one -on -one women that i'm working with with the different sacred containers i have available i noticed that the activations were so different and our frequencies altered meeting in this space so that's a little bit about me and where I've been. And tonight I'm just so ready for these alignment codes that want to come through. So let's open the circle together. If you have a candle by you, then please bring it through. I have these to represent 
the portal we're in right now for Sawin in the southern hemisphere and Beltane in the northern hemisphere. So I've got the, the light coming in to bless us all. And then I have this beauty by my side holding space for our alignment. Can you see that one? Yeah, she's just standing on a pillar. And then I have this beautiful handmade beeswax, gorgeous candle, which we're going to open the circle with. And if you have essential oils there that you want to, you know, take a deep breath of <laughs> to come into this sacred space, always endeavor, feel welcome. I'm just going to place a little drop of Frankie Boy on this crown and just feel that opening up into my higher chakras and over my throat and over my heart. We open this sacred circle now for everyone here present live. Thank you for your presence, for your love, for your light that you're shining into this sacred circle of sisters. Mm. To those watching the recording, be welcome, be blessed. If there are many, any men here <laughs> or watching the recording, welcome brothers. When we open this circle and call in the presence of pure unconditional love. We call forth vibrations of unconditional love or higher to us, within us, around us in this sacred space. May the light of love penetrate us, inspire us, guide us, open our hearts, in fullness. May the light of love wrap her wings around us, that we are activated in the presence of love to come into this sacred space of alignment that we are calling in. Akashic Masters bless us, inspire us. I open myself for you to speak through me and to our beautiful star families, in particular my family Andromeda. You are welcome angels and the guardian angels and guides of each of you be welcome stand present in this circle we honor each of these seven directions north south east west above below and the center of our home and hearth crystalline grid of the grand central sun and the crystalline grid of the heart of mama gaia herself catalyze this sacred circle activating it with its crystalline sun of love and strength and protection and so we are here and i welcome each and every one of you mm. <laughs> Humanity, we ask that you open your hearts, you open yourself, your spirit, connect with your spirit, your whole self to the energy of the word alignment. What does alignment mean to you, for you? How do you stand in alignment in your life? This is something we ask you to ask yourself. What does it mean to be aligned? What is it that you are choosing to align with? With whom do you choose to align? There will be fellow humans that come into your life, that you feel the tremors of connection, of recognition. You feel a yes, a pull to develop friendships, to cultivate relationships with them. And that is well, for you are listening with the ear of your heart. You are allowing your heart to magnetically attract to you these relationships that will deepen you in the presence of love. This too is alignment. When you are aligned, dear children of the light, when you are aligned, you will notice people, circumstances and events mag magnetically drawn to you. Your heart 
is activated by these magnificent magnetic fields. When you allow the wings of your heart to unfurl, to expand with front and back, wingtip to wingtip, you connect with those seen and unseen. And you invite into your life richer connections, more aligned communication. You step into the breadth and depth of who you are as a way shower in the world, a fellow being of light in the world. As you step into this place, you open yourself to cultivating a more enriched relationship both with yourself and those who are in your world and those who are coming to you now. You see, if you imagine your heart like a magnet drawing on the drawstrings, as it were, from the infinite possibilities laid out before you in the void, the void is the infinite space. It is the space between your current life in this sacred present moment and the future that you are creating from. This is not the future that you worry over, that you stumble over, that you create anxiety over. No, no, no. This is the future that activates you or catalyzes a new you into being. You step into the void. And the void has within it, it's a liminal space, it has within it infinite possibilities for you to choose the life of your choosing. First, you need to be clear on what you long for, on what you desire, on what you wish for, hope for, dream for. You become clear on that and you step into the void and you simply open yourself to the infinite possibilities that are available to you to bring this into being in the here now moment. Let's take an example of a relationship. You are longing for a relationship with a fellow bestie, someone who brings out the best in you and you in them, someone where you have conversations that light you up, that activate you and you do the same for them. A love that's so deep, a sisterhood that is so deeply entrenched in love that you can't help but smile as you think about it. Can you all tap into that now? Can you just think on that for a moment? Can you feel that? You've brought that possibility to you boom, in this here now moment, just with these few sacred words we have spoken. You see, your words are sacred. Your thoughts are sacred. Your dreams are sacred. Be inspired by them. Allow yourself to be activated by the deep longings in your heart that you have ignored for too long. Sweet, beloved children of the divine. For too long you have ignored them because you have allowed the overculture to penetrate your field of possibilities, to dictate to you what is possible and what is not. You understand? You have the capacity to bring to you a life that will be imbued with the light of your own divinity. Everything you touch will be touched by your divine light because you choose to align with it. Now, the next step is to embody, to embody the dreams, the wishes, the longings, the heart song, the courses from you, from every cell in your body, out into the infinite field of possibilities. Your heart magnetizes it to you. You feel yourself shift. If you just move your bodies like that, no one's looking at you. You just move your bodies like that. Go into an undulating space with your breath and your body. Just feel that for a moment. Now imagine each time you go forward, you open this heart space and the heart space increases in its magnetic potential. So undulation, undulation, and breathe. Now your heart is opening. It's increasing in its capacity to magnetize miracles to you. And stop now, come into stillness and bring one thought to mind. What is it that you long for in this moment right now? Get really clear on it. Just drop into it. Don't edit it. 
It's not for your mind to tell you yes or no. Just that heart, that undulating heart. You got it? Let us see your nods. Do you have it? Great. Now, pump that one thought, one vision, one longing, one dream with all the gratitude you can muster. Deep breath. <sighs> Exhale gratitude into it. Now just shake your hands, shake your body. Let yourself shake a little. Feel the gratitude, feel the joy. Just smile, smile. Woo! Feel that going through your vision. La, 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 la. Feel it activating, feel the love of it. And breathe in. Hold your hands to your heart, breathe it into your heart. Undulation, undulation, and come into stillness. See the vision with clarity, that one thing. Feel the gratitude, feel the love, feel the joy. Have you got that? Have you got that? Now feel yourself coming into complete alignment with this one thing and smile. You are magnificent. Look, you did it. You did it. You followed the impulses of your divine heartbeat. Now, to complete the alignment, to complete the alignment, there's one thing you need to do. You're gonna release all expectation of how it arrives in your life and when you are in the void, you are in the infinite realm of possibilities. You only need to be aligned in love and joy and gratitude with this one thing. And in a moment, you're gonna finish wrapping it up in all that gratitude, the highest form of receivership, and you are gonna set it free to the universe, to that higher intelligence, God, Goddess, whatever it is you call it, whatever it is, however it is you feel it, you're gonna surrender it to the universe. And you may like to add simple words, may thy will be done, or I am in complete trust of how this blesses my life. So, wrap it up in all that gratitude, in all that love, in all that joy. Let it stimulate yourselves with this frequency of gratitude. Expansion, expansion with that gratitude. Smile, feel it pumping through your heart, that heart that is that magnet for miracles. You're going to wrap it up, you're going to wrap it up, you're going to wrap it up, and now release it. May thy will be done. May thy will be done. May this bless me in the most unexpected and glorious ways. My heart is open to be blessed in the most unexpected ways. I call on this from the infinite realm of possibilities. I call on this from the heart of the universe that my heart magnetizes this miracle to me, to bless me and to bless the higher good of all. Breathe that alignment in. Feel the assurity of that. Remember who you are. You are a beam of light. And your physical body inhabits your light, not the other way around. Your light is so big. Your physical body inhabits that light. And you have a flame within you that longs 
to be lit, to get really big from deep within you. Let it be not afraid. You are pure love. You are pure light. And every experience you have on the earth plane is an invitation for you to choose alignment to your truth, to love, to your divinity. You understand? Yes. <clears throat> How are you feeling, my loves? I'm back. Hello, it's me. Well, I'm always here, but you know, it's me. It's Vanessa Jean again. I'm going to open up the space for any questions and um, I mean the records so I can bring through answers from the Akashic records. This is your time. I don't want to be talking at you the whole time. I'm glad you loved that. Thank you so much. Just come off mute. It's totally okay. Um, you don't have to just put it in the questions. Let me see. So, Ingella, Ingella? You're saying, yes, you felt that as well. Just crystal activation transformed your frequency and without the COVID, beautiful. Full goosebumps and chills in the best way. Thank you, my pleasure, Renee. So beautiful. Thank you, Vanessa. So pure and loving. Mia, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you all. And Lisa, your body's feeling alive, gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to invite you to something that can be a little uncomfortable when we're in a circle like this and you don't have to take the invitation we can close out it's fine but if anyone here would like to come off mute and ask the akashic masters a direct question you can the question needs to be about you about you you're not asking for anyone else i know that there's this tendency we want to help the world and ask things for everyone else but if you can ask something about you, trust that what blesses you blesses me and blesses all who are ready to receive the blessings. Yeah. Kath, go for it. Come off mute, my love. Hello, my love. Um, thank you. That was so powerful. Just the what are you choosing to align with? Just such a beautiful reminder to be totally conscious about that. I'd love to ask the, the masters while we have them there within my work my job there's kind of two pathways I can see so it's beautiful to have opportunities and I'm just wondering if they can give me any direction on that whether I kind of stay in the HR role or move yeah move out to the the food company role because both have different opportunities and I'd love to see what yeah yeah so I'm not in your records Kath but I'm happy to do that later for us oh. to just have a little session on this but I can yeah. I can tell you what I'm seeing is super clear so I'm yes. seeing two very clear forks and neither one at this stage is more prominently lit up yeah okay, this is good. the message this is the message that's coming out for you which I'm just going to give exactly as it comes enter the chamber of your heart the sanctuary of your heart dear child and we invite you to look at which opportunity brings you greatest joy mm. rather than greatest financial abundance, rather than a more expansive life, any of that, get right down to the simplicity of which is going to bring you the greatest joy. And we can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that that will bless your life more richly if you follow that path on all levels if you follow that path yeah it's beautiful that makes total sense thank you my Appreciate pleasure that. such a pleasure yeah thank you tony hi thank you for that that was beautiful um so my question would be i've had a number of different health issues come up within 
a very short space of time. Um, so I'm wondering, is that just progressive stuff to be dealt with? Or is it a reminder to ground? The greatest task for you right now is to give yourself a total clean, a total clean out and clean up from a deeper level, going into the deeper levels, the deeper layers within you. So that's the first step. The second step for you is movement. You need much more movement in your life. And the third step then is to earth it, what you call ground it. But it's more than just grounding it. You come into complete alignment with your divinity by giving it the space to breathe in your sacred temple, in your body. If you give it a clean out at those deeper layers, it's going to take time. But over the next six months, if you can commit to this, you will notice a complete transformation within you and around you and the life that you're attracting. Thank you. Thank you. Mia, I think you are next. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I guess my question is similar, I guess, to Kath, is just the whole, like, I guess, leaning, like what you were saying, leaning into trust that you know, when you're at that crossroads of picking one career over your soul, you know, what you feel really drawn to, but financially, you know, I'm a single mum. So it's just feeling into the trust that, you know, my beautiful clients will find me and, um, you know, and, and that it will all work out and everything. It's just, you know, sometimes trying to find that level of trust between something that securely brings you in money to raise children as opposed to fulfilling like what you believe is your life path and destiny. But for me, that's astrology and energy healing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just finding the trust that the clients and the finances will come to afford me to live that beautiful aligned life. Yes, yes. So there are two forks in the road for you very clearly. And you must do what serves you and your children, yes, for you, in order for you to keep a roof over your head. So there is a path that's very clear ahead that can be, you can work the, shall we say, the everyday job to maintain a financial flow. Ultimately, your path lies with your heart soul, however. That is what will bring abundance. It will take some time to bring in the steady abundance. So you can make a choice based on that. It doesn't need to take a lot of time. The more aligned you are with it, the more directional you are in your path with it, the more that will come. And sometimes what that means is taking the job that is bringing in the financial abundance to just keep your life moving the way it is and allowing spaciousness. So what you can do is you can magnetize to you that miraculous opportunity to have the job where you're working a certain number of days, let's say three days or four days. And that affords you the life that you need to live while you are concurrently building your business. Does this make sense? This is a path of safety, but it's also a path of enrichment and expansion because you're living on a 3D plane. It's very dense and you have needs that need to be met. If you launch yourself into, and this is for anyone else here wanting to know this, if you launch yourself into a business, it can create greater stress living in a hyper alert of trying to get more more clients, more participants, whatever it is, if you're continually worried about your physical abundance. Does that make sense? So if you are concerned about this, then you take something, you receive something, you open your heart to bringing something that still brings you joy and that brings you financial abundance while you are building the thing that liberates you, that brings you the greatest joy. Yeah. Mm, beautiful. So Thank a fair you. amount of sensibilities involved with aligning your heart song and the path of financial affluence for you. You understand? Yeah. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure. Okay. So, Annette, anyone who wants to go into a reading, just put your hand up. Um, raise your hand and I can see who's there. I think there's an icon you can set, Arina. Can you see other hands people have up? I know that you want one though, I will remember. Okay, Annette, yeah. Annette, is that you there? 
it's two of you sitting together. I'm not sure who's got their hand up. Uh, uh, Emily, sorry, I don't have my glasses. Yes, Emily. <laughs> me and my friend Gunilla is creating a board game, a card game that brings a lot of fun and joy to the world. And we are wondering how it will turn out mm. if there's some messages for us around the games we are creating. Yes, yes. So we're not here to predict any future for you, but we can tell you that there is much laughter in this. And laughter brings greater expansion. Laughter allows you to bring in the master codes of joy that you're longing for right now. And this in turn will bring greater abundance on all its levels. So pursue the path of your joy, your happiness, expand together in that. And we can say to you, see the world receiving it in the way that you wish them to receive it. Open hearts, big smiles, opening their wallets, paying for it. You see, you can bring all of those future strands in to help you, yeah, to create this. Yes, deep blessings to you. It is a beautiful offering to the world. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, Karen. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks, Vanessa, for allowing us to share this space again. Um, my question really is just um, if I am to continue on this right, rightful path that I think I'm on, um, I just feel sometimes just obviously you, you come across stumbling blocks so it's just to kind of get any um direction or affirmations on that would be wonderful yes, obviously i know you can't predict <laughs> yes it's it's interesting if humanity was to see the stumbling blocks the challenges as the most precious gifts that they're given in that moment in time it would revolutionize the way that they live their lives you see so what you need, all you need to do is align with your truth. And as you align with your truth, the people, circumstances and events align with you. So you trust that whatever is happening, whatever is showing up in the world for you is showing up to keep you in that aligned place. Yes, does that make sense? So you are on the path. There's nothing to predict about that. We see you clearly on the path. You're walking the path. The next six to 12 months are bringing to you huge change and revelation. You will undertake a journey that will transform you from the inside out over these next six to 12 months. Yes, thank you. Um, Arena. Is it Arena? I'm sorry, I haven't got my glasses on. It's just <laughs> easier right now while I'm channeling. Thank you so much. Um, I was going to ask if I'm at the right place to to um, to conduit uh, by writing to start writing from from what I'm supposed to. But then, as I was opening my mouth, now I just got this. Maybe that's the wrong question. Maybe I'm supposed to ask if there's any messages for me. Mm -hmm. There is never any right or wrong question, you understand, because your questions are born from something deep within you, a longing deep within you that wants to be given space in the world, to be a conduit for the beautiful offerings that you will give the world is a wonderful space to be. You already are a conduit. So it is about aligning with that, connecting with that, remembering that. Yes. So you open yourself to the muse that wants to speak through you. And that is the most powerful message we can give you right now. Thank you. Yes. You know, my loves, I'm just going to interject here and say that um, I have these three master classes and I invite you to, to sign up for all three because you can do them as standalones, but I can see how they're going to, um, they're like a bridge. They're a bridge from one step to the next to the next. Align, amplify, flourish. Uh, the way that I work is so deeply intuitive and whether I'm working with one person or a hundred people, it really makes no difference because I can feel your tendrils. So don't doubt the questions that are arising from you. Like for Arina right then, I mean, she could have, yes, she could have just said, what's the most powerful message for me right now? And it probably would have been the same message. Her question directed my attention 
in the records for that particular thing you see so the more the more specific you are the better it is because the more clarity that comes with your answers yeah uh, there is a there's an offering that i have that that we've just released the waitlist for called voice of the goddess and what that does is over the six month journey it culminates to the point where you all learn in a retreat how to read your own akashic records that's like the greatest gift i can give you it's the greatest gift I can give you for a number of reasons. One is, is because when you are in the records, you're in your own Akashic records. Okay, I'm in my own Akashic records. I'm not in any of yours. But the, the more that you are in them, I can tell you that your, can we just call it intuition for a moment? It's probably the easiest word to use, but your intuition becomes more refined. If you all imagine right now, we're talking about alignment, right? So alignment, refinement. If you imagine when you are in your Akashic records, sorry, for those that don't know what that is, it's like, imagine it's the great library of your life, right? And it holds within it all information on lifetimes, past, present, and future. So the more direct the query or question or statement is, it's like you're giving me a reference number, you know, the bookshelf, the, the title of the book, the author, and boom, I can go straight to it. So when Anneli spoke about the game board, it was like <laughs> right there in front of me. It was such a clear question. And I saw the game board here in front of me, and this is what I'm seeing now in this big <laughs> rainbow, rainbow of light, like this full arc over it. And out of it, <laughs> this gorgeous white bird, like a dove, but it's not really of this earth, but that's the closest thing I can I can think to say. It was, it was a butterfly to begin with and goes into the voice and just <laughs> opens up that's what I saw come out of the joy and this explosion of, of stars there was just so much joy echoing from that game board that these two women and I heard them laughing so much laughter and the game boards imbued with that yeah and that's what people are going to receive it's like if you make something and people can feel the emotion behind it that's what makes it taste so yummy your love is poured into it so when you learn how to read your own Akashic records, you come into this refinement. And what it does is it more finely tunes your capacity to, to listen to your intuition and the promptings, the universal promptings around you, no matter where you are and who you are with. So I don't need to be in your records to answer these questions. If I was to give you a personalized reading, of course, I'm in your records, okay? But I can do this from this space because my, my heart, my whole self is completely open. Do you understand? I'm so in alignment to be a vessel for love that I open myself to respond from that loving space to each of you. So, Arina, my invitation to you is not to doubt yourself in the questions you want to ask, not to doubt yourself as a conduit of light and love and the spoken word. You are that conduit already. It's so clear to me. There is one, two, three. There's three beautiful books laid in front of you, and I can see up to six coming. You see? Refinement, alignment. And people open them, and it's like prose. You see? So it's not about predicting the future. It's about tugging on the drawstrings of future possibilities and feeling what's available. Now, Arina, I hope I'm saying your name right. Arina, I'm Italian, so that's how it comes out for me. Sorry, but so Arina, for instance, who wants to be this beautiful conduit for the spoken word, to bless you, to bless me, to bless us all, has the capacity to refine her vessel, refine her frequency, so that no matter what's going on in her life, she can transmit what needs to through the spoken word, through the written word. The spoken word through her and comes from that universal heart. Down, 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 we have some 200 plus chakras, travels down that beautiful ladder, those the kaleidoscope of lights, vortices, spinning, spinning, spinning into her heart, down her arm and out through her hand and there, done. You see, and that's the capacity you all have. That's where I saw these two beautiful women playing in the sphere of their game board. That game board's not really just a game board. It's like the game of life. It's the enrichment of life. It's the blessings life can bring to people via the channel of joy. And that is so needed for humanity right now. I can't tell you how much it's needed. I was not going to be doing Voice of the Goddess. Again, you can ask the goddesses that are here that have joined me. 
it was so life changing for us all. I knew that she needed to come through and I've really taken my time to birth her. She's coming through with 12 sacred master codes now that I've never done before. I'm completely owning myself as a psychic phenomenal channel of light. There's no way I would have said that about myself six months ago. But I am and you are and you can be and that's why the six months culminates to this unbelievable retreat at the end of it where you learn to read your own Akashic records and dive in. And that to me is one of the greatest gifts I can give you because in that space you remember who you are. So my beautiful admin angel Sam is going to pop the link in there for you to join the wait list. That's it. Tonight's an invitation to join the wait list and feel her, feel her heartbeat, feel her pulse through you. She is alive. The entity that is voice is alive and completely renewed because I am completely altered since the last time I did this. Completely altered. Renee, my love, come off mute and tell me what's on your heart, sweetheart. Hello, hello, ladies. So glad I could make it this evening. So I shot my little hand up, raised the hand like straight away and I didn't even know what I needed to ask and then it came through. So my question, my question this evening is the last six months I've gone through a very big metamorphosis within my own self, my soul and also the soul of my business. So what my question is specifically is, do they have any guidance on how best to bring this magic and this new metamorphosis into the world of my business and out into the world as it's been building for some time now and it's what's evolving has landed the past week and now I'm at a place where I'm navigating how to bring everything that's come forward and that wants to come forward out into the world and I would love to know how best to do that and to birth that in a way that is really honoring and that feels really true and in alignment yeah I'm going to give you something on this but I want to tell you something Renee I the the best direction will come from me being in your records and opening the records of your business entity it's going to be the best best way for me to navigate this question for you it's huge it's multifaceted i can tell you this you are so on the right path it's like you are walking on a dance floor you step onto the dance floor and it lights up you are the music you are the song and the next step now is you coming into complete alignment with the heartbeat of your business, the entity of your business, remembering that you are one, you're not separate. Mm. That's the first step. And the second step is, is as you come into this sacred alignment with the entity of your business, begin to listen with the ear of her heart of where she wants to take you, where she wants to go with you, the pathway she wants you to tread. Some are going to scare the crap out of you and others you're just going to be like, holy heck, of course, right? And both will bring this heightened emotional response from you and you will know, you will feel this is the way forward. This is who I am. This is what I'm in, in alignment with. And what you write, I'm seeing you writing as well. You're putting together some powerful things. As you write, come into that space of total expansive joy. Does this light me up? Does this bring me joy? <laughs> I'm, la I'm laughing, Vanessa, because that's my middle name. Joy. joy. <laughs> that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful and everything I needed. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. If anyone wants to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can. Um, but you know, remember this, there, there are these sacred words that we've heard since we were beginning of time and they are everything you need is within you. Sometimes we just need a little guidance to unlock that everything we need is within you. And that's what I honestly feel voice the goddess does. It's a journey home to yourself, to your truth. And I share with you so much of what I've learned in my lifetime. I mean, I was so blessed with my father who kept everything alive in me, everything. And I didn't close the psychic channels down till 
till I was older and you know made this choice after a, a traumatic traumatic for me in my 20s I mean I had a very blessed life I don't really have any trauma but traumatic in my 20s when I left someone I loved deeply every I had three significant relationships before Paul my my life partner my beloved my king and um, each of them I was guided to break up with and I've got to tell you sisters I loved them and they loved me so much there was no animosity there was no reason to break up that's trust that's complete trust I just surrendered every time and knew I teased Paul because he didn't wait he got married he had a kid you know here I was waiting and listening and there he was rushing to the altar <laughs> you know, he wouldn't have had Connor and I wouldn't have had Connor if he didn't do that. And we wouldn't be blessed by the incredible older brother that's now Ariel's older brother. Ariel's the child that we brought in together. You see, so uh, someone mentioned earlier the challenges, the stumbling blocks, I think, or the roadblocks. These, these apparent stumbling blocks are sometimes our greatest blessings to unearth, to unwrap. Danny. Hi, Vanessa. Thank you so much for tonight. Um, I would like to ask, what am I waiting for? What is it going to take for me to get my feet on the ground and, and run with my business and my ideas? I've got a new business that I'm just starting up. And what am I waiting for? you're waiting for the resounding yes to echo through the chambers of your heart. Open your heart, dear child. Mm. She's still closed. Everything you need is laid out before you. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Thanks. Sometimes just being around, you know, awakens women, Danny is the best medicine being in a space like this it's just the best medicine you know that's yeah why I, I guess that's why i created voice of the goddess the way i do you know so that we can just be medicine for each other i'm not i'm not the teacher the guru ji none of that bs you know we are guiding lights together we are way showers standing side by side together i just remember some things that you're not remembering right now, right? And I'm going to nudge you back into remembrance, into that beautiful space. I think someone said they couldn't quite... Oh, Eddie. Eddie, you can come off mute. There we go. Hi. Hi. Thank you for... Um, you know, a friend sent a link, so thank you very much for that. So it's been a really lovely experience sharing this time with you all. Um, I've got a question um, around my life. There's, there's quite a lot of um, crisis um, and chaos around my life at the moment, of which I'm holding a space. My question is around um, any guidance on on holding this space and maybe time scale, or whether actually I have to withdraw some of the space that I'm holding and and offer it back there's a stream of chaos spiraling out from within you so part of you has taken this chaos on as your own and it's not it's not your own there's this very clear image of you deciding at some stage that it was yours to bear your cross to bear is actually the words I'm hearing. And you've taken it on the front part of you and the back part of you, and this is not healthy. So the decision really is based around, is this expansive in my life? Does this bring me peace? Does this light me up? And if the answer is no, you have your answer. Okay, thank you. If there's something else you want to ask them, ask Eddie if you need further clarity. It's um, a huge 
it's a very huge vortex of chaos that you're in you see so i'm just trying to extract simple the simplest result for you but i'm going to open it up to another if you need deeper clarity just ask that now okay there's there's an there's an element that i i i'm, <clears throat> I'm not able to relinquish at the moment due to circumstance um and i just wondered if there's a time limit on when that will be resolved so that i can then step back yeah there's no time limit because you are working from beyond time and space in this you see because you are in this chaotic vortex it's not it's not um, aligning with the continuum of expansiveness it's a very contracting energy so in fact you need to make the decision dear child you need to make the decision of when enough is enough that's the greatest gift you can give yourself right now okay thank you mm. yeah thanks very much yeah, such a pleasure Guru, did you have your hand up yes i did and my husband just came in but anyway <laughs> i got a really bad flu as well and uh, and uh, I've been feeling like lots of big transformation and shifts and things, but I also feel that it might be just the universe pulling the rug out of me, out underneath me and just say, relax, you have to calm down because I get so eager and I, I just want to do all the things and I feel that I'm on the right path and I don't just get really impatient. So, uh, so what is it? Is it just a cleanse, really big cleanse for me to be ready for your work next week? Or is it a reminder, as I said? If you can imagine, dear child, that the path you walk upon now is of such transformation that your physical body can barely keep up. That's what's happening for you. Yeah, I thought so. So give it space, give it space to catch up, to align with your choices that you are making right now. Mm. That's the best preparation you can give before you prepare for the way show with me. It's the best preparation you can give yourself before you walk the pathway that takes you into the heart of your truth. Mm. And that's where you're going. Thank you. <clears throat> While you're on the, um, off mute, is there anything you'd like to speak to from Voice of the Goddess to these beautiful women who are- I just, I just really felt Danny, uh, which, said, which you said that she had a closed heart and I just felt like, oh, that was me before the Voice of the Goddess as well. and that. That's where, what I really felt that you did in Voice of the Goddess. You opened my heart to see myself and explore lots of different, yeah, I don't know. It's, it was just, some, in the start, I was just sitting a little bit behind and, it, oh, this is a bit woo-woo and strange and everything. And then I found myself really digging in and doing everything. And it's, I just embraced it all. It was... Uh, it was life changing and it totally opened myself up to see love and embrace myself much more. And I had a, yeah, a huge transformation since then. Everything is changing. Yeah. Um, so I couldn't recommend it more. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, my love. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Nicole, your hands up. Sorry, Lisa, yours is as well. And Sarai, I can see you both. I've got you. Yeah, go for it, Nicole. Hello, lovely. Hi. What a pleasure it is to be here. Um, and for getting this opportunity to ask the masters some questions that I have difficult receiving myself or hearing myself. And I have made some very powerful decisions in the last couple of weeks what I, I feel very good about them um, and I resonate with the story that Eddie shared about something not wanting to move um, 
that is draining my energy to energy leak. So I've made a really clear decision on when it's going to, it's enough is enough. I've made that decision. I have the timeline, but the question is now is, have I got the right channels open for me to receive? And is everything aligned for me to receive so that this, this energy leak, this burden can be lifted off my shoulders because it's so tight. In one timeline, everything is open, clear, and ready to receive. And in another, if you choose to step that to go back into past uh, conditioning story and drama, shall we say, you mm. are not. So it is up to you to choose which path you take. You see, if you align with the path of your truth, then you are ready. You are ready. It is as simple as that. As long as you relinquish attachment to past stories that you currently have you will flourish yeah. things will change for you yes yes okay <laughs> thank you yeah thank you lisa hey thank you everybody um i've written the question down and i think i already have the answer um so my question is um Am I on the right path? Um, and I guess because I think I already have the answer, is there any messages that I'm not hearing yet that, I, that, that need to be given to me? Yeah, this is a gift for everyone, this beautiful questions you've asked. If you can all be guided to close your eyes for a moment and take a breath down into the chamber of your heart. Breathe down into your heart, all of you. And see before you now, or sense, get a sense, imagine in the way that you do, a golden pathway extending from your heart directly in front of you. Your path may curve and swirl, but there is a pathway extending from your heart directly in front of you into the etheric heart of the universe. Now step forward onto that path and ask. Ask the part of you that is already living the life of your choosing. Ask the universe, am I on the path that serves my higher good right now? And the first answer you receive is your answer. Now ask yourself, the part of you that is already living the life of your choosing, is there anything right now that would serve me to know in this sacred, holy moments? Holy meaning whole, yes? Is there anything that would serve me to know right now in this sacred, holy moments? And open the ear of your heart to receive that response. <laughs> See the path before you, luminescent and golden. You stand on the path now. Take three steps forward. Take a deep breath. Fill your belly with that golden light of your divinity. Exhale. Take another three steps forward. Imagine yourself at the center of this bridge of light. Feel light coming from above you and below you, aligning you in your sacred heart space. This is the chamber of your heart, the place that you can turn to, to come into alignment and to hear the answers that you seek. And when you're ready, take a deep breath, give thanks and open your eyes. How's that feeling, Lisa? Really good. I got my answer. Just keep yeah. going. <laughs> You see, dear children, when you allow yourself to remember that you do have the answers within you, 
Sometimes you just need someone or certain circumstances to guide you back into that space. Yeah, the spaciousness of you, the intelligence of you, the wisdom of you. Yeah, and there's no shame in that. Each of you as humans walk the path of remembrance in the way that you do. Be lit up by each other and this sacred space together. Yes. Now, yeah, feeling you, seeing you. Yes, Arina, yes, you are the vessel. Okay, Sam, can you help me? There was someone up there that was struggling to um, put her hand up. I can't quite find her that wanted to speak, or maybe you just want to come off mute. There's someone here that can't quite <clears throat> put your hand up. Maria McNamara. Oh, Marie, hey, babe, have you written here? Doing Voice of the Goddess last year and learning how to read my records has been life-changing for me. I enter the records daily and it's so reassuring to have that direct and clear access to my soul's voice. Hmm, beautiful. Do you want to come off mute and speak anything else into that, my love? Or are you with your baby? No, no, baby's asleep. <laughs> um, oh, just how... <laughs> I mean, it's interesting being on this call. I think it's a year after we started, you know, we started March last year and just to see how much has changed within me and how I just live in a place of, I know that I can access at any time guidance from within me. And that's such a powerful, powerful place to be in the world, knowing that no matter what happens, I've, I've got within me what I, what I need um so yeah doing 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 voice of the goddess just unlocked something that was already there within me but it just gave me the the, the I guess the I don't even know what the word is it just gave me the space that it was just a beautiful loving space for it all to be unlocked and such an incredible group of women that we just all held one another in this just beautiful beautiful space and watched each other transform and grow and oh it was just yeah it was a wonderful experience and it has completely changed how I now move forward in in life and hold myself the love that I have for myself is mm. being transformed yeah mm. so mm. thank you yeah thank you thank you for showing up so fully in that space you know, for Marie was one of the ones that came on, you know, every time, every session, you know, she was there nine out of 10 times. And it does, it makes a difference when you can show up live. Um, for the alumni, which are the women who have done Voice of the Goddess with me, the extra treat for all of you is that you will, well, you can do the retreat again to read your own Akashic records, go deeper into that. But also you'll learn how to read the records of other people, you know, and that's, that's that next sacred yummy space to enter into you may not use it to actually do readings but you may use it as you're working with your clients as you're creating beautiful sacred spaces uh, portals for people to step into yeah okay lisa thank you so much for giving me the courage and ability to listen to the messages i was receiving absolutely lisa it's what lights me up it's the most beautiful place to be Nicole, thank you, sisters, for a beautiful space. I have to go now. I'm closing the space from this end. Much love. Yeah. And Eddie, you need to leave. Yeah. We're going to close out shortly. Sarai, you want to say something? Or ask something? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it unmuted now? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, Oh, you mean in regards to voice or a question? Which? Oh, you like your hands up. Yep, both is fine. My question was, is there anything I'm missing to the Akasha? Okay, let's just drop into that for a minute. Is there anything you're missing like, in terms of the program you're writing? Anything. Life. Is there, is there something I haven't covered? It's too big. It's too big for me to go into. Okay. Um, Okay, yep, then into what I'm creating. Is there anything I'm missing? Mm, dear child, to use the word missing is not quite the right word. But 
to stay with that law service. The only thing you are missing is the belief in yourself, the knowing that what you have is enough. You can extend and add on more later. It's time for this to be birthed into the world. Take this time now, this opportunity, this invitation to deliver it to the world, to help those who are enduring unutterable grief and bring it to life for them. You can add components on later. You see, you can buy them as bonus material. Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. Um, and yeah, in relation to um, the journey of Voice of the Goddess, which so far the other ladies have actually covered a big chunk of it, but what I would add to that is um, many of us females journey through life kind of unconnected to many aspects of ourselves. We don't give ourselves permission to feel what we feel. Um, we're not our own best friend. We are not very compassionate to ourselves. Um, we doubt our intuition. So many aspects. And Voice of the Goddess really gives you many tools and ways to connect back and trust yourself and give yourself permission to feel who, how you are and to embrace your dreams and passions and really step into it. And not only that, but you get to do it with how many women did we have? Like close to 60? Yeah, 60. Yeah. And so you're all there inspiring each other. You're all there crying and laughing and loving each other. And even like I think it's six months since it's finished, even now we're still all holding that space for each other. That is kind of like a lifelong bond of sisterhood. Um, so that's a tribe. So it brings in all these different aspects. And at the end of it, it's, it's really is a journey back to yourself. It's like you've always been there, but you've kind of just ignored yourself. <laughs> and yeah, Vanessa's voice of the goddess, you, you can't ignore yourself anymore. <laughs> um, and you do, you become your own best friend again. And it's really, it's just, it's beautiful. So I, I can't recommend it enough. Thank you. And my eyes were probably like all over the place because <laughs> I don't know who I was looking at. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so my beloved sisters, thank you so much for being with me in this space. Was there anyone else I missed that had their hand up that wanted to speak? Ask a question. We have two more spaces that we'll come into together. Um, Amplify will be the next one. Sam, if you can put the link for that and flourish both free masterclasses, we'll bring the codes in for those two. So take this to the next levels together. It is very much my vision to invite you all to join the waitlist for Voice of the Goddess. It's a waitlist, my waitlist, because I want you to get a feel for her. I want you to feel her alignment with you, not just an impulsive something. Feel her heartbeat. Feel your yes. Feel your frequency as you shift, as you align with the currents of life and the heartbeat of life around you. The wait list will open a door to this portal for you to receive it at uh, the... the um, like a gifted entry point, you know, it's like a lower, a lower price point. There's <clears throat> a significant saving for those on the wait list. The first 11 people to say yes to Voice of the Goddess, to enroll in her, will actually receive a free Akashic Record reading with me. They tend to go for about an hour, but sometimes they can go up to 90 minutes, but usually about an hour. It's very in-depth and you can bring yourself to this, your business entity, whatever you like to expand into in that space. So it's a huge space, yeah. The next two masterclasses, we'll bring in the codes for whatever's needed for the group that's coming in as we move down, down the pathways of these three masterclasses, and I'll open it up for you to have questions again. So obviously if you can join live, 
that's going to be a yummy space for you to dive into. Yeah. So there's a couple of ways to journey with me from now on the master classes voice the goddess, of course, I have a beautiful portal called frequency and we gather every full moon. And that can be something you just may want to do may want to join with me and get a deeper feel for me. <clears throat> and of course, you can have your own Akashic record reading. But you know, if you're joining voice, you're going to get that for free if you're one of the first 11. So if everyone feels complete, let's close this sacred circle. From my heart to yours, I'm so grateful to have been in this sacred space with you to feel and to see and to sit in the presence of your light and your divinity. It is a blessing for me. May you feel the flame of your divinity lit up. May you feel your whole self coming into alignment with the divine being that you are, with the truth of who you are. May that alignment bless you and bless me and bless all who are awakening in this moment in time. What blesses you blesses me. What blesses me blesses you. Remember that always. You are here to align. You are here to be you. Say yes to the voice of the goddess within you, the God within you, the magic weaver within you, the way shower that you are. Say yes and get on that dance floor and start dancing to that new song that is rippling out from within you. That new song that is creating this harmonic convergence with the song of the universe. And then, my loves, you will know true joy, expansive love, and live a life that is so rich it is beyond your imagining. Yes, financially rich, because you'll be right in the right place at the right time to receive the abundance and reclaim the birthright that is yours, but also rich from the color of you. The kaleidoscope of color that emanates from your soul, from your essence. Be blessed by being who you are. And as you are blessed by being who you are and being in alignment with who you are, you bless the multitudes. And so I close this sacred circle with all the love in my heart and with the light of the divine flame within us all. Amen, amen, amen. I see you, I love you, and I am so honored to be in sacred space with you. I'm gonna switch off the recording, and if anyone was too shy to ask anything during the recording, you'll have one more chance. And this is what we do in Voice of the Goddess, it's what I do every time. I turn off the recording and we get to play. So that's what we'll do now. The links are all in the chat for the future masterclasses coming at you and to join us in the sacred space of voice of the goddess. I hope you feel your yes as strongly as I do, because I want the women of this world who are courageous spirits and who are ready to completely live their truth, empowered, sovereign and free. I love you. Thank you for being here.